Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine. So this video has actually been requested quite a lot recently. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, maybe because my skin has been in a little better condition. Maybe because I haven't done one for a while. Anyway, if you guys watch my videos kind of religiously, because I didn't actually mention this too much. I think I mentioned it in a video once and maybe on Twitter a few times. But back at the beginning of summer I had a really bad reaction to um, a skincare product. I can't even remember off the top of my head what it was right now. Um, my skin is kind of funny like that, like I don't really have specifically sensitive skin um, but every now and again I'll use a product and my skin will just react really badly to it and I'll get like a rash or I'll break out really really badly um, and that happens usually like once or maybe twice a year because I'm so fickle with skincare, I switch so much and that's really kind of taught me a bit of a lesson in the last few months because it really was starting to take its toll on my skin so what I did was I basically stopped using skincare. Um, I cut my skincare routine down to face wipes to remove my makeup and a really basic just a moisturizer. Um, and then obviously sunscreen if I was outside in the sun. Since then I kind of waited for my skin to clear up and then I started reintroducing things that I know um, my skin is okay with and then I've started introducing a few new products here and there and I've actually got quite a lot of products to show you now. It sounds really weird coming from that background story to here. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of products that I really, really like and I find it hard, like a lot of, I know I'll get a lot of people asking why did you even reintroduce these products if they're not really necessary. The thing is, in the summer my skin is fairly easy to maintain. Um, a little bit of moisturiser and face wipes will do it fine, but in the winter I like to wear a little bit more makeup, so taking all of that makeup off with just a face wipe doesn't really cleanse your skin as efficiently. And secondly, I also get kind of dry skin in the winter. I don't have really, really dry skin. I've got kind of normal combination skin, and then I get dry patches in the winter. So um, that's a little bit of background, and I'm actually going to start talking about skincare now, because I've been talking for two minutes straight. The first thing that I use, and I absolutely love these, I've been using these for quite a while now, is um, the Johnson's Daily Essentials Eye Makeup Remover Pads. And these, they come in kind of a bulky packet, which is only the only kind of downside to it. But these are basically just normal eye makeup removal, like cotton pads, but they already have eye makeup remover in them, so they're kind of wet already. I just find these really, really useful to have in my bathroom, because they're a lot more effective than a lot of other makeup remover, especially the pads. Like, I know, I think it's simple that does them, where they have them in the packet like a face wipe, but just smaller. And I find those are actually really not very good. I don't, the texture of them just isn't easy to get the makeup off your eye. I think these are a lot more gentle, you don't have to pull at your eye. So yeah, I love those, and they're quite cheap. I think they're £3 for 30 something like that. And then the cleanser that I've been using is from Origins. I've actually got quite a few Origins products in here because um, I've kind of recently discovered them. And it's their Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. And this is kind of like, it has like a minty smell. It's good anyway. It smells just really, really clean and fresh. It doesn't claim to do anything amazing. It's not, you know, brightening, anti-aging, um, acne clearing, anything like that. It's just kind of keeps your skin in balance. So if you have slightly combination skin or if you get dry patches it'll help kind of combat that and I've been using this for about a month now and I really really like it. The reason why I actually switched to using a frothy face wash again as opposed to using like a hot cloth cleanser or um, a cleansing balm or an oil or anything like that is that I realized when I wasn't using it how much difference my Clarisonic actually made and frothy face washes work the best with Clarisonic so if you want to see a full review of my Clarisonic I did one when I first started using it which I'll put a link at the end of this video um, yeah so I won't talk too much about the Clarisonic but basically when I first started using it I really really liked it and I kind of noticed the difference to my skin but it took me like stopping using it and then starting again for me to realize just how good this was for my skin and how much clearer it leaves my skin so I really really love that and definitely would recommend it again um, and like I said I'll put a link to my review at the end of the video so I've been using those together and I tend to use the Clarisonic at night because um, that's when I kind of have all my makeup on and it's really really effective for removing makeup in the morning I just tend to have this in the shower um, and wash my face just with my hands in the shower you can use the Clarisonic mirror in the shower though which is kind of good but I don't really like using it twice a day because um, it's not harsh on your skin but I think it's kind of unnecessary to use it twice a day especially when you don't have makeup on your face in the morning and you can just kind of um, wash it with your hands it's fine so 
that's what I cleanse my skin with. Um, the next thing is actually the most recent addition to my skincare routine. I only started using this about a week ago, but I wanted to include it because I just love it. It's a really, really awesome product, and I've never used anything similar to this before. I don't know if there's a lot of things out there that are similar to this, but I've never used any. It's the Extraordinary Water from Melvita, and this is the rose one, which is um, rejuvenating. And it looks like this. It comes in this little bottle, which actually doesn't look too big, but I think it's going to last quite a long time. Um, the reason why I love this so much is it's kind of like a gel texture. It's really not like water. I always thought it would be like rose water, but if you can see here, it's kind of quite a thick water texture. And it's kind of somewhere halfway in between a toner and a serum. And it just leaves your skin feeling amazing. It actually just, I can't quite describe it, it just leaves it really smooth and just fresh and moisturised and I really really love it. It smells really good too. I think there's three different um, variants on this. I think there's a hydrating one which is orange and then another one which I can't remember but the rose one smells like you could eat it. It smells like Turkish Delight. It smells really really lovely. Um, yeah and it just leaves my skin feeling really comfortable and really just hydrated and lovely and smooth and I absolutely adore this. Like I said I've only been using it for a week so I can't really comment on kind of results for my skin but I just love this as a step in my skincare routine. So as a moisturiser I've been using Origins Vita Zing. I've spoken about this in my last few videos so I'm not going to talk too much about it um, but it's got SPF 15. It's tinted so it leaves you with a little bit of colour to your face so if I'm not doing anything um, particularly interesting, say if I'm just running errands or if I'm around the house at the weekends, whatever, um, I just wear this and don't wear foundation because it gives you a little bit of coverage, maybe some concealer if I've got any blemishes, um, but yeah that's really good and I use that as my moisturiser and as my sunscreen because it's got sunscreen in it and also like I said as a base as well sometimes so I love that and I also did a review on that which I'll link at the end of this video um, another Origins product that I've been loving is their eye cream, the Ginseng eye cream and this is actually a refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff your eyes and you're meant to use it in the morning but I actually use it morning and night um, I don't know if that's particularly a bad thing but um, I, I like it so much that I use it in the morning and in the evening it's really nice, it's kind of like a funny salmon-y colour yeah, I find it really hard with eye creams, obviously because I'm only 23. I don't particularly need to use very hardcore anti-aging eye creams, but I also don't want to not use an eye cream because the main part about skincare is preventing um, aging on your skin rather than reversing it because it's a lot easier to prevent it than to reverse it. It's pretty much impossible to reverse it. So um, I want to use an eye cream to kind of keep my eye area um, nicely moisturised and help you know, stop getting wrinkles and stuff, but I don't really want to overload it with a heavy cream. Whereas I find this one is a good balance between the kind of only depuffing type things, like the under eye roll-ons, things like that, and an actual kind of moisturising cream that feels like you're actually really moisturising the area under your eyes. I just find this a really, really good in-between it. If you are, say, early 20s to maybe 30, you know, plus, and you want something to really brighten under your eyes and not necessarily overload your skin, um, and be too rich, then I think this is a really good one. It's Origins Ginseng. For nighttime, obviously, I don't use my um, Vitazing moisturizer at night because it's got SPF and it's kind of like a makeup. Um, I've gone back to using Elemis Dreamy Sleep, which is from Elemis's Fresh Skin line. So if you didn't see my review on the Fresh Skin line, I'll link that at the end of this video as well. But it's basically designed for kind of young skin um, in between teenage and kind of adult skin. So twen late, late teens, kind of early 20s. Anyway, um, it's a really nice kind of balmy texture and it leaves your skin feeling really kind of plumped and nourished and but still quite matte, like not greasy or overloaded and it still does a really good job of moisturising and it smells lovely and relaxing. Of lavender as well which is really nice for the night time and I'm really glad I've gone back to using this because it's kind of just a nice basic moisturiser that's really good for my skin and I really like it. So that's everything from my kind of everyday um, skincare regime. I also have a scrub, obviously coming into winter is, it's especially important to exfoliate your skin, it is all year round, but in winter um, I exfoliate my skin probably maybe twice a week. Um, usually, the rest of the year I usually do once a week, but in winter it's normally twice a week, and I am using my Soap and Glory Greatest Scrub of 
all, I, I thought it was of them all, but it's of all, um, which I've used kind of on and off for the last maybe 10 months. Yeah, I mean, I really, really like this. It's a kind of quite a silky kind of texture and it has exfoliating beads. What are they called? Smooth boosting spheres that pop open when you press on them. So when you actually massage it into your skin, it kind of like, it has these beads which kind of pop in them, which is really, it's a, it's a nice kind of feeling and it smells like fresh mint as well. Um, I love the way all of the Soap and Glory things smell, it just, it's really good, it reminds me of fresh mint tea, so I love that, and I just kind of keep that in my shower and use it once or twice a week, absolutely love it. Another thing that's a fairly recent discovery is my super three minute facial, now this is actually a um, face mask, but I never have enough time to use face masks for like 20 minutes. Occasionally when I have a bath I'll remember to use them, but most of the time I'm in a huge hurry and I just want to put them on and kind of not have to wait around for them to dry or whatever. So this is great because it works in three minutes. It smells like fresh ginger and kind of like, almost like sweet ginger, which is so good. And it just, it's kind of, it's quite tingly and kind of a refreshing feeling, so it's great to use in the morning a lot of the time. I'll put it on right after I get out of the shower and then, um, you know, brush my hair and kind of get ready and then I'll take it off and put my makeup on and it just leaves you feeling kind of really refreshed and your skin looking very bright and nice and yeah, I really, really like that. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, skincare videos can be a little bit tricky to do because everybody has different skin, but if you're looking for something new for your routine or if you're just kind of interested in what I use, things like that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to include the links that I mentioned throughout the video at the end here, so if you want to see my review on my Clarisonic Mia, then click here. If you want to see my review on the Origins Vitazing, then click here, and if you want to see my review on the Elemis Fresh Skin line, then click here. So yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you very soon.